Hi, I'm Nancy Hatton with Montessori Tide School. I'm the lower elementary teacher and today we're going to show you a lesson on the multiplication beadboard. The multiplication beadboard is a material that we use in the classroom to help students learn their multiplication facts. And today Julia is going to help me with that. So Julia, we have a problem and it says four taken three times. Okay. This sign is a multiplication sign and it says four taken three times. Can you say that? Four taken three times. Okay. That's the way we say it in a Montessori classroom. Sometimes you might hear it said four times three. Can you say that? Four times three. Either way, we know that we're going to take the number four three times. Okay. So when we see our problem with our multiplication beadboard, we know our first number called the multiplicand is 4. And we place our 4 right here. And then our second number, which is the multiplier, is 3. So we're going to use our button to mark it so we know that we're going to take 4 three times. And when we do this work, so we've got 4 taken three times. One, two, three, four. Taken one time. One, two, three, four. Taken two times. How many times are we going to take it? Three. And how do we know? The button's there. Because the button's there to remind us. One, two, So now we're going to count all of our beads together and see what our total is. All right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So our answer is twelve. That's right. Would you like to write the twelve in? What do you think about doing another problem? Would you like to try it? Yes. Do you have a, a um, multiplication fact in mind that you would like to see how it works? Um, six times ten. Six times ten. That's a big one. Are you ready for that? Okay. I hope. You hope? How about six times four. That's kind of big too. We'll start we'll start with that one. Six times four. Okay, it's your turn. Do you remember where the six would go? The six. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay. Very good, Julia. That's exactly it. Would you like to write the answer in your book? Okay. 
And how about tomorrow we try six taken ten times? Would that be good? Okay. One thing I wanted to mention with this material is um, Dr. Montessori was so clever with the way that she created her materials. And we have lots of materials with the little beads. And with the little beads, we use our pincer grasp to grasp the beads. And that really helps the students to be able to get that pincer grasp and makes it stronger the more that they count and practice that exercise. So thank you for joining us today.